Hi there, my name is Joel, and today we're going to talk about configuring the NetData agent from finding where it lives on your system, using the edit config script, and seeing a few settings in action. This video covers a lot of the same information that's already available in our documentation. So to find that, you can head on over to learn.netdata.cloud and click on docs, then configure and configure that NetData agent. When it comes to configuring the NetData agent, there's two important ideas. First is the NetData config directory, and second is the edit config script. The config directory is where all the configuration files are for that particular node. On this node that I'm logged into right now, that's at slash etc slash NetData, but that's not true for all systems. So if you want to know what, is, what it is for sure without poking around your system or taking any guesses, the easiest way to do that is to load up the running configuration for that particular node. So we can see here we're logged into the local dashboard for a node with the configure me uh, URL, and we can just append netdata.conf to the end of that to see the running configuration for this, for this netdata agent. And then we can confirm it by looking at the config directory setting which you can see here is at et cetera slash net data. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way, back to the terminal. So as you can see here, we have all of the files um, that we might be interested in configuring or looking at when it comes to tweaking the net data agent settings to your liking. So let's talk about edit config. This is a script inside of the config directory that you should use in almost all circumstances to edit any of NetData's configuration files. And that's because NetData comes with many stock configuration files that our team and the community at large is designed to provide all of the metrics, charts, uh, dashboards that you expect with zero configuration. You can actually see these in this, uh, this sim link to a ridge. Um, you can see the content of all the stock files. Um, let's, for example, let's open the go comp file. You can see here, and we'll head back to the config directory. And what, what edit config does is that it, if, if the file isn't already present in the config directory, it's, copies it from the stock file so that you can make changes and that they persist between reinstalling the, the NetData agent, updating it, whatever happens, this directory here, nothing's gonna happen to these files. Uh, all your changes will persist, uh, whether you reinstall or anything else. So let's open netdata.conf. You might need to use sudo to do that, depending on your system. And as you can see here, I'll scroll down a little bit, there are a lot of settings. Um, this file contains almost all the settings that you might possibly want to change in the agent itself. Um, it can be a little overwhelming, but I think the best way to approach this is to start making small changes and see how that changes the behavior of the, of the agent itself. And then you can continue to dig into some of these um, more nuanced changes as you become familiar with it. So let's make a really simple change. And, and that's maybe the, the host name is probably the, the easiest thing to change. And how that reflects is this name right here. Um, this might not be relevant if you're just doing single node monitoring, but if you're using that data cloud or if you're using uh, the registry to, to move between visited nodes, this is definitely helpful for you to identify which node you're, you're currently looking at and to help navigate between them. So let's go ahead and just change this to a different name. We'll go ahead and save and exit. And then restart the NetData service. Okay, and as you can see here, let's refresh this dashboard. And we can see here that the host name has changed. Excellent. So earlier in the video, I had mentioned the running configuration for a NetData agent. And I wanna take a minute to show what that means in practice and how you can see the differences potentially between what you've configured and what's actually running. So as I had mentioned before, um, let's open up the 
existing netdata.com file. So we can see here we have the host name as Bigelow. We have another custom setting here for the database engine size. And when we look at netdata.conf in our browser, we can see the settings mirrored there and everything else is the same as well. I have a couple things for the web server um, set in addition, and you can see that those are uncommented and set to the, uh, the options that I have, I have chosen for those. Now, NetData, the, the daemon that, that examines this configuration file, it, it knows every possible setting. It, it has a list of all of these different settings, and it knows what it should be looking for, and it also knows what it shouldn't be seeing in these files and should not try to load. So if you happen to make an error um, in your configuration file, or you do something silly like add a testing option, and restart the NetData service, then reload the configuration, the running configuration. You can see here that the daemon has said, no, thank you, I don't wanna to try to use this testing setting and it's not gonna to try to use it. It's still there um, so that you can see, you know, the changes that you've made, but it's gonna provide this, this small warning for you that, um, that this option is not being run live, whereas everything else that I might have set is the live setting um, in addition to everything that you see here, when something is commented, it means that it's this is the default and that it's running the default. Um, only when something is uncommented and changed will uh, the NetData agent pick up your change and run that live as well. So we can see this again live. Um, let's change something else. Let's change the, the cache size for the database engine. Um, to something a little bit larger. So we can store a little bit more memory, uh, metrics in memory for uh, additional speed. Change that to 64. Again, close and restart. Reload the configuration file. And you can see here that this is now uncommented. It's set to 64. So it's overriding the default of 32. So as I said before, there are a lot of settings available here. There's many sections, there's a global section. Web is related to the internal web server. You have different plugins for, you can enable and disable entire plugins, uh, health, registry, and then a lot of settings per plugin or per chart. Um, the best way to understand Everything that you see here, if you want to get very granular with your changes, is to visit our documentation, again, at learn.netdata.cloud. This file right here will be uh, very helpful for you, as will um, some of the daemon configuration files um, and, and many of the places that these link to uh, for additional information. So a lot of these will be uh, linked in the description below for you to take a look at and explore uh, even further. Um, again, if you have questions um, or are confused about anything, be sure to check out the documentation or you can ask a question to our community on our forums. And that is just community.netdata.cloud. On the community, you can get support if you're having an issue with configuration, request a feature, or even dive in and learn more about developing the open source agent itself. So until next time, happy monitoring.